Yo, 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 Hendel here with Average Dude Slow Pitch. Today we're bringing you the all new Andy Purcell APG4. They've gone back to the one piece model, 13 inch barrel, 0.75 end load for what I'm being told. We're gonna go ahead and get about 75 to 100 swings between the live swings, the velo, get you a final compression and kind of final thoughts. During the velo portion also, we're gonna bring out the OG 220 APG just to see kind of how they compare. We'll throw compression on both of them here shortly so you can kind of see where they're gonna be at for the Velo, and then we'll throw a final compression on both of them just so you can kind of compare how they started versus how they ended with kind of that velo portion of it so you can see the speeds um, and kind of how all that stuff plays out. So let's go ahead. It's about 60, 65 degrees out here. We're going to be using 52s for the first 20 ish swings just to kind of break it in a little bit well or break it in without breaking it. We don't have time to follow the entire breaking procedures that are posted there on Slugger Slow Pitch, but we'll get those 20 swings, swap over to Pro M's, and that's what we'll use for the duration of both that and the velo with both bats as well. So here at Apodaca, these are our dimensions that we've got for the field. And let's go ahead and see what the new APG4 is all about. All right, let's go ahead and test the all new APG4 here real quick. They brought back the one piece all black design, some of that 220 model. As we mentioned kind of in the intro, we're gonna go ahead and include the 220 version of the APG in the velo test as well, just to kind of see how it compares. And that makes sense for power coil, as we always mention, about 275 or higher, so we're sitting right at 275. And just so when we get to the velo, you can kind of see the compression difference between the two. This is our 220 APG, the original. And this one is testing at, well, way too far there, let's get it right. to zero oh and this will be fun that one's testing at 275 so when we get to the velo we've got two bats sitting at the same compression we'll see where kind of where how they compare and uh, let you know what we think all right and for me this was my most anticipated since i heard it was coming out the apg4 let's see how it does with 52s then we'll jump to the pro m's like i said we'll velo and we'll add in the 220 apg in there just for kind of comparison lower in the hand so you definitely feel that one a little bit not a sting but more of just a stiffer feel yeah i don't know how the louisville's do it and how they hit these 52s so well i mean we don't get me wrong there's a lot of each bats that hit them well but none of them hit it like this does i mean these louis make this baseball field play like a softball field i mean that's that's gone just left of the 390 mark like you saw in the beginning of the video we had the dimensions up there that's somewhere between 370 and 390 that just went out. Yeah, the stiffer handle on these one pieces for this one piece is definitely killing these 52s because that was a slight miss. You could hear the slight sound change and that ball was up in the top of our trees in the left. Yep, there's the sound change towards the end of the bat and we're at the base of our fence. So. Not as forgiving as you're gonna find. Yeah, handles 52 is great. Saw what we need to with that. Let's hop over to the Pro M's before we get, jump over to Velo. Just under our scoreboard off the fence on the field behind us. We say it in every Louisville video, every Genesis video, but they're just, they're great bats. I mean, the one issue they have every now and then is a little bit of uh, durability issues, but really that's only if you don't break them in right. And again, we don't break them in right out here by any means. And I would say 85% of the ones we swing last. We get some paint seams, nothing yet on this one. We had a little bit of a paint seam on a few of the previous ones, but we very, very rarely break them when we do. It's usually real cold and we skip the 52s altogether. So follow the breaking procedures, they'll last you. Don't come out here just trying to hit the ball as far as you can with your friends right out of the wrapper with real hard, hard balls. So BP of 52s, game it, you'll be ready. You can swing these things straight out of the wrapper to be honest. Okay. I mean, how much faster can you get out the left center? Nice knuckleball. Yep, everything.
everything you can ask for. Let's hop over to Velo. This is the part I'm real excited about. We'll Velo this one, and like I said, we'll pop in the 220 APG right there at the end, kind of see how they compare. 110 miles per hour. It's a good start with the Velo. Stop there. 111 miles per hour. 111, let's just keep ticking up. 110, 101 miles per hour. One hundred twelve miles per hour. One hundred one miles per hour. So through five swings, we're at 110, 111, 112 on balls that basically are just past the pitcher without launch. And both of them with any sort of angle are both 101. So I don't know how much more forgiving you want out of a bat than that, or more, how much more performance. But we'll get a couple more, swap that APG 220. 112 miles per hour. We're back oh. to 112. 112 at my head. Yeah. 112 miles per hour. 112 again. We found a number. We got a big fancy screen and we might have still had Wally poop himself there. There it is. That's the pitch we needed. <laughs> I mean, if you hit at the pitch that many times, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. That or, well, you're going to probably get in a fight, to be honest. 100 miles per hour. Oh. All right, so we said 112 top speed on three or four of them, 111, 110. 101 with angle, I mean, all, every bit of the performance you want out of any bat, but again, the Louisvilles just do it differently. We've developed our first little, it might be a paint seam, but it's whatever it is, it's real small. Maybe it's just starting to seam, I don't know what it is, but either way, that's all we've gotten. And again, we went zero to 100. We put 20, you know, probably less than that, 15, 52 swings, and then went straight to pro ends pretty much as hard as we can. So let's see what the 220 APG does real fast. Comparison wise, we'll jump over to compression, final thoughts. 106 miles per hour. 108 miles per hour. I mean, through the first two swings here, they sound almost identical to me, which is, which is great, because again, this was my favorite 220. It was one of the first one piece I remember not having that real one piece sting and being real forgiving. We'll see if we can't match the 112 of the 240. 108 miles per hour. 110 miles per hour. All right, there's our 110. We're getting there. Let's see. 106 miles per hour. We're going to get it. Let's go. 109 miles per hour. I'll say, okay, that one came off 109. I know it's not the 112 mark, but with the little bit more angle that was on that one than what we have with the 112, I'd argue that probably would have been somewhere close to that 112 mark straight up the middle on a little bit more of a, a straight line. So, but with all that being said, it's still a 220 bat performing the same, if not less than the 240. So just something to keep in mind. 97 miles per hour. All right, 220 APG done. And as you saw there, we didn't quite touch the 112 mark that we got with the 240. Again, we talked a little bit about the difference in kind of angles and whatnot. So they're probably pretty close to one another. However, I think I personally feel like I saw a little more consistency, honestly, with the 240. We'll test both of them to see where they're sitting at. I'm guessing with the fact that we BP'd the 240 a little bit more, it's probably sitting a little bit lower compression this one, but we'll find out and get your final thoughts. All right, let's see where our 240 APG4 is sitting for us. And then again, we'll take a look at that 220 just to, so we have the comparison for the velo purposes. Let it center up on here where it's supposed to be. Stop getting it moving. There we go. All right, dialed up. Let it sit. And right on 240. So a little bit lower than we've seen with most of the power coils. We will quarter turn one time, check it out. But also we have, we did put a decent amount of swings on this, hasn't been sitting too long. So 
I'm sure if we let it kind of sit back in the house for a while out of the sun and then test it, we will get probably five to 10 higher and be seeing that normal 250 that we see on most Louis. So 240, yeah, 240 both sides. We'll go ahead and we will test this later once it sat for a while. Uh, and then in the comments of the video, we will throw in there kind of what we got from that second test so you can see it. However, let's see where the 220 APG is at. They both started pretty close. The 220 is actually slightly higher at 275. I think the other one, or 280, I think is what it was at. They might have both been 275, but pretty close. Let that sit at zero. And about 250. So slight difference between the two of them by about 10 PSI. Again, we will retest both of them once we get them out of the sun just to see, but we'll talk about more in the final thoughts and then we'll throw that second test, uh, what we got from it in the comments. All right, and we are swings complete, velo, and final compression here with the Andy Purcell APG4. And all in all, nothing new from Louisville. An outstanding product. Top speed, I think we hit 112 on this thing, so the ball was absolutely flying off the barrel. We have one small, small paint seam back here, and even then, I can't, I mean, I can't get my finger on it, so I mean, it might even be a paint seam. It might just be starting a paint seam, but the fact that we didn't follow Louis' break-in procedure, and we were able to put 20 to 30 52s and then just go full throttle with pro m's and this thing hold up says a lot to kind of the improvement in the durability as far as the feel of it if you swung the 220 apg i felt like i was swinging that one again with honestly possibly more performance and slightly more forgiving if you caught it high caught it low no sting on the hands nothing like that not a whole lot i can say about the performance you saw kind of how it handled the 52s crushed those went to pro m's crushed those and then killed the velo test one of the highest velos we've seen pretty much ever i think average wise it was right there with kind of the axe pass drop earlier this year however Compression wise on this, pretty similar to where the axes were at. Again, we were right at 240 with this one. I'm gonna, like I mentioned, take it back, leave it in the house for the day while I go to work, and I'll test it one more time later once it's kind of out of the sun. I can feel that the barrel's still warm, plus we were hitting it. So kind of let this thing cool down, get it to where it should be for a test. And then in the comments, look for a pinned comment on this video and you'll see what that last compression test was at on this one. As far as with the 220 APG, we obviously put the velo on there as well. And you saw that the 240 top speed wise beat it. But as we mentioned, the one that hit 108, I believe, or 109 off this was with some launch angle. I think if that one, I'd squared it up correctly and matched it swing for swing um, ball positioning off that screen, we might have seen that hit 112 as well. But overall, going back and looking at it, we did have a higher average overall with the APG4. So if you want, if you like the one pieces, you like Louisville, you like the APG2 or the APG, original APG, whatever it was. This is going to be a bat that's going to get you as if you're swinging like a 220 again at that point. So keep an eye out for this. This will be dropping here very, very soon. If you need help picking one up, headbangersports.com, code ADS35, or sluggerslowpitch.com, code ADS35. Both of those will save you 20% on that bat. Free shipping over at Headbangers. Uh, I don't know what the shipping costs over at Slugger Slow Pitch, but the prices will come out to basically the same either way. Or if you want to ensure you grab one of these, get a hold of us kind of before drop, or if, I mean, there's still more of these after drop. I think these will sell out pretty fast and we can get you on a list to kind of for a pre-order. Make sure that you're ready to pick one of these up at the drop of them as well. If you need help picking anything else up, just go down into the description of the video. We've got our link tree down there, a bunch of codes like for Bruce Bolt. We've got things for uh, Evil Sports as well so that you can grab some of like the balls that we were using between those 52s and the regular BP Rockets, whatever it might be. Bunch more stuff down there for you. If there's something you want to grab you don't see a code for down there don't see kind of a discount of any kind reach out to us we're sure we have a connect we can put you in touch with somebody or get you squared with ourselves for the best price best shipping possible so that being said again these louisville's just keep getting better and better all these power coils are absolute gas durability is obviously getting better on them as well so keep your eyes peeled on them still kind of our top of the line bats out there for the two or for the U-Triple-S-A game so hopefully all in all you enjoyed the video thanks for supporting the channel have a great day